You know, we're in the midst of summer and those wildflowers are in bloom. So today we're talking all things flowers with the Denver Botanic Gardens. And they have a newly published book all about wildflowers of the Rocky Mountain region. They're also hosting the upcoming Lavender Festival. Erin Bird with the Denver Botanic Garden joins me now to talk us all through. Good to see you, Erin. You too. So tell me more about this new book. It's called Wildflowers of the Rocky Mountain Region. Correct. Um, it was created by 11 of our horticulturists and it is the first that we know of comprehensive field guide to the entire Rocky Mountain region. So that includes eight U.S. states and Canada. Goodness. So whether you're traveling in Colorado or another state, you can have a handy guide to check out the flowers while you're hiking and exploring. They certainly did their homework, didn't they? Mm -hmm. How many plants are featured? There are about 1,200 plants wow. that are featured and each have a photo and descriptive profile. Isn't that, that's just one of the pages that you can yeah. see. Um, how long did it take them to write this book? It took four years. Four years. Between initially figuring out, okay, what plants do we want to cover and then collecting all the information and taking photos. Most of the photos, the horticulturists themselves took on their hiking expeditions. So Very it's really nice. fun. Yeah. And did the gardens publish it for them? We did not. We work with a Portland-based publisher, Timber Press, and it's the third book we've published with them. Okay. So let's talk about where we can get it. I'm sure a lot of people are watching right now yes. thinking this would be a fun family adventure to hike and then take the book along and see if you can find which plants or flowers are out there. Exactly. It is available at the gardens, our little shop at the gardens. Um, and it's $28, and it's available now. It just was published last week, so it's hot off the presses. Okay, so that's the only place they can get it. You can also get it on Amazon, but of course, if you're local, we encourage you to um, support the gardens if possible. Of course, yes. yes, get down there and check it out. Um, also, let's talk lavender. I mean, the Lavender Festival is coming mm -hmm. up. It returns to your Chatfield Farms location. If somebody's never been, kind of take me there. What can we expect besides sure. smelling everything beautiful? Yes, yeah, so there are um, going to be 1,000 lavender lavender plants in bloom. There are 19 different varieties of lavender that we have down there. It's really incredible. And there's live music, there are crafts, there are food and artisan vendors that are all lavender themed. Um, there are things for the kids to do, activities and games. So it's really a great family full day event. Is it true there's lavender beer? There is, <laughs> yes. We work with Breckenridge Brewery and every year they bring a special lavender beer and it's how I've had it. It's funny. Very good. Is it really yes. good? <laughs> I bet Kyle Clark would like that. Yes, he would. <laughs> From Next, yeah. he's a big beer drinker. So when is the festival? And talk about like how much it costs yeah, to get in. It's this Saturday, one day only, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at our Chatfield Farms location in Littleton. And it is free for kids 13 and under and then 5 to $7 per adult, depending on if you're okay. a gardens member or not. Yeah, really affordable. And what about parking? Is it free? There is free parking, uh, but we do expect um, several thousand visitors, so it might be a little delay getting in and out of the parking lot, but it's definitely free. Well, and it's, I mean, it's one of those things you have to go to, especially mm -hmm. if it's free. Bring family if they're in town visiting. This is just one of the unique things that Denver offers. You know, right. you all do a wonderful job. Where can we find more information about it? You can find more information about it on our website, which is botanicgardens.org. And are there any other events coming up? Because I know you have all year long some exciting yes, events in the we're Botanic going Gardens. All year, yeah. Well, right now we have our summer art exhibition, Mike Whiting Pixelated, which is an outdoor show with large sculptures that are made in the vintage 8 bit video game style, as you can see. So they're very um, simple shapes, but they're colorful, surprising things you encounter in the different gardens. And that is on view through the end of September. And then also our popular summer concert series is happening. There's only one show that is not sold out yet. Mm -hmm. um, but for those that have tickets, it's a great outdoor, one-of-a-kind venue to see a show. Perfect. Well, thank you for giving us a sneak mm -hmm. peek. Yeah. Valuable book to uh, pick up and help support the Botanic Gardens. You can discover the amazing wildflowers of this area. Go ahead and pick up a copy of Wildflowers of the Rocky Mountain Region. It's available now at the shop at the gardens for only $28. Super affordable. Also, come out to the Lavender Festival on Saturday, July 21st at Chatfield Farms. There's going to be tours, games for the kids, and lavender products, including that lavender beer. Tickets are only $7 and for adults $5 for the members. Find details at botanicgardens.org. That's botanicgardens.org.